G'day folks, today I've got Ego's latest and greatest 16 inch or 40 centimeter uh, 56 volt chainsaw. It's the CS1605E. I never remember the model number, sorry, but uh, that's the bad boy. We've done a couple of the Ego chainsaws before, I've been really impressed. This is their latest uh, one out. So, unlike me, I haven't pulled the sucker out of the box yet, so I'm going to set it up tonight, uh, and tomorrow I'll actually be starting to give it a bit of a crack on site, get into some uh, some big logs, we're going to give it a bit of a push, so uh, stay tuned. Radio guys, so you've seen at the start that I gave you a couple of specs, 6800 RPM uh, and that things are 16 inch or 40 centimetre bar. Couple of little things on the uh, on the chainsaw that I'll just very quickly run over, which you would hope they all had on it, uh, but you've got the electric brake here, so brake off and then brake on. So same as a, a standard chainsaw, uh, you've got your oil filler cap over here and then on this side we've got the chain uh, tensioner. The difference here is it's not what I would consider a conventional chain tensioner. Ordinarily you've got a couple of nuts and you undo it with the spanner and then you get you take the cover off um, on some or you've got a little hole, put the screwdriver in, tension it and then nip those nuts up again. Um, this unit here, it's simply that green knob there and then you push this knurled button here forward and it tensions it or drops it off. My first thought was I like the standard system, I don't know if I'm going to like this. I had no issues with it whatsoever, and if anything, it was a little more convenient. Um, I was running this and cutting this alongside two other electric chainsaws at the time, because we've got a big comparison coming up, uh, and now those ones, they require the spanner. So I actually noticed the convenience a little bit, because as I was using it, uh, you just sort of monitor as you go, and go, oh, it needs a little bit of tension in, flick that open, tighten it, and I'm done, and I'll back away, versus carrying the spanner in my back pocket or walking back to the trailer uh, to tension the chain on the other one. So it hasn't slipped, hasn't sort of come open and come loose at all. So I rate that. I've uh, got no dramas. Um, got your safety here, so it's a safety button, and then you pull your trigger. Uh, I've got the 5 amp hour battery in, which is what we did the testing on, and it's also what comes uh, in the kit. So... Now, this thing, they're rated at about 300 cuts per battery. Now, that's for 100 mil by 100 mil pine. Um, that's good for the box and good for people to get a bit of an idea, but personally, it's not how I'm going to rate it. And I haven't done a, a specific test of it or do X amount, but what you would have seen is that this stuff's going through some pretty gnarly logs. Stringy bark uh, in Australia is, is quite critical for chains. It gums them up and just sort of drags through the chain a fair bit. So... So the fact that this went through stringy bark trees so well, I was really impressed. The 6800 RPM, that's all good and well, but it means nothing if the thing bogs down too quick. This thing, look, it, it drops a little bit, as any chainsaw would, 
uh, but it's of what, not what I would consider bogging down at all. I think the thing's got plenty of guts, and as I said in the intro, chainsaws don't seem to have a torque rating, which look, I would love a torque rating. I don't know how you possibly achieve that, how we can do it, uh, because it's going to be different at the motor versus actually at the chain. So anyway, that's for another discussion, but uh, this thing's done plenty. You'll see the three slices that I've taken off. Uh, that's part of the comparison, which again you'll see coming up. But those three slices, that's out of a 100% green tree. Unfortunately, we had to lock that down because it was hanging up, uh, it was hold holding two dead trees up. So we had to drop that tree. That was sticky stuff. You can see the sap pouring out at one point of it. This thing chowed through it, no drama. So we've done wattle, which was quite hard and really dead. Uh, we had the stringy bark, and we had very green, uh, wet timber. So this thing, I think, has had a proper test, uh, and it stood the time for this. I really like it. Uh, I hadn't used the Ego Chainsaw until this one. Dwayne's had the other one for, oh, it's got to be a good year and a half, maybe more. Uh, hasn't missed a beat. He loved the thing at the time. I don't believe I got to touch it. I don't remember using it at all. Uh, but, man, this thing's an absolute cracker. Uh, it's got a five-year warranty on it. Uh, so you cover there. Five-year tool, year, tool ba uh, warranty, sorry. And the three-year battery warranty. I had to read that off the box because uh, I don't remember stuff well enough. But uh, look, I really like this thing, guys. It's, a, it's got a lot of plastic on it, but a lot of the Ego gear does. We've been reviewing Ego stuff for nearly three years now, and we haven't had anything yet where we go, you know what, uh, the plastic's good, it's light, and it, it might be convenient to use, but it just doesn't hold up. Because I'll guarantee you on this video, and we've had it on other Ego videos, people will go, nah, plastic crap, don't want to know about it. Well, I'm telling you now, all the Ego gear that we've reviewed, we've still got most of it, and it is absolute ripper stuff, and we haven't had anything let go uh, at all. So I really rate this unit. Uh, we are going to have it come up in the comparison soon, so please watch this space. If you've used this thing, I would love for you to let us know. You might be a camper, an occasional user that just does a few logs around their house. Uh, I don't expect this to be taken over by an arborist, but in saying that, uh, when we were dropping some trees, I had an arborist on site, and he had a really small, different brand, but a really small electric saw. So to say these are just toys is an ignorant comment, and these things are getting stinking good, and they're starting to get pretty close to the petrol unit. So uh, I'd encourage any comments, guys. We'd love the feedback. Jump on our Instagram or Facebook, and certainly engage in conversation about this and about our other reviews. Thanks very much, guys. See ya.